Discover adrenaline quarry near Liscard in Cornwall. Try the double zip wire that runs right over the lake. Ride the giant swing at the top of the cliff or go coast steering in the lake below. Our unique sessions include the blob, a giant human catapult. Come and see us for an amazing day out at Adrenaline Quarry, PL14 3PJ near Liscard in Cornwall. Open daily from 10 till 6. Check out prices, details and more videos on our website, Facebook page and TripAdvisor. Adrenaline Quarry, throwing people off cliffs since 2009. You're right. Yeah, you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back. Now you've chosen a great time to join us because we're just about to venture into the final part of this week's challenge between Otis and Susie. Now, you probably haven't got those two pegged as extreme daredevil sports types, all right? And you'd be absolutely right. They're nothing like that, which is why it was really funny when we came up with the idea for the final part of this challenge of placing them in a quarry in the middle of Devon to take part in a very, very extreme race. The finale of our Wired vs Wireless Challenge was to take place here in the awesome surroundings of Adrenaline Quarry in Cornwall. At this quarry, Susie and I are going head to head in a race. <sighs> I'm very excited about this. We've got to start over there where that grass is. Yep. We've got to do a lap of the quarry yep. and we've got to end up back over there at the grass. But I'm noticing really wet liquidy stuff down there. That's called a lake. Right. Yeah, I've already thought about what I'm going to do. Which means I'm getting wet. For this race, we'd be using some of the most exciting, cutting-edge personal transport you can buy. Keeping to my wired theme, I would be racing on the amazing Zero MX electric motocross bike. Zero emissions, tons of torque, and a frame designed by a former NASA scientist. Now, quite obviously, motorbikes and water don't mix, so I'm going to ride this baby to the top of the quarry to that zip wire. Since I was about wired tech, that zip wire would do me nicely. It sits a whopping 50 metres high above the quarry. It's the UK's longest, and once I'm strapped in, I'll speed along at 40 miles an hour, covering more than a third of a mile in under 30 seconds. And bring me back down to here, hopefully, to beat Mr. Dealey. I was taking a much more direct route, namely straight across the lake. For that, I had a brilliant bit of wireless tech called the Hovery Bemo, which is a fully portable hovercraft that can fit in the boot of your car. That is my hovercraft. I've got to put it together myself. I'm told it's normally a two-man job, but it only takes four to five minutes. Five minutes? Yes. It'd be quicker than that. Have you any idea how much longer your route around the quarry is than mine? Do you know how much faster I am than you? No. The time for talking was over. Otis had beaten me across London, but I'd beaten him to the light out in Plymouth. We were now racing for much more than honour. We were racing for glory. Three, two, one, go! As I started tugging my hovercraft out of the boot, that's heavy. Susie had finally shot off on her electric bike and she was quickly out of sight. The Zero MX is really light. It's made of super lightweight aircraft aluminium. It's 70 kilos. It's about half the weight of a normal bike. It has 21 brake horsepower and it really flies. Otis was bound to lose. Right, like I said earlier, it is a two-man job. While Susie was halfway up the hill, I was bolting my craft together. It was surprisingly easy, and within a couple of minutes, we were fitting the engines. Oh, I have to say, overall, these bumps, the suspension is actually pretty good. I don't know how I can get it on setting up this whole craft. So I've got to get up this hill before we've done it. A few tweaks here and there. Got to get to the top of the hill. <laughs> And then it was just the seat. 
I'm going to get off this bike, quick! Time to go! Quick! Get me strapped in! As Susie was getting into her harness, I was finally taken to the water. Come on! The BMO was great. It's powered by two 6.5 brake horsepower Honda engines, which doesn't sound a lot, but it really shifts. The only problem is you need to keep it virtually flat out to turn. It takes a lot of guts to keep it going when you're running out of quarry, but I did it. I was on the home straight, but where was Susie? I could see Susie flying towards the shore, but I was heading there fast too, and I was still feeling confident. Yeah! Oh, Meg, she's right above me. Come on! I have to unhook and run to the finish line. Quick, quick, quick! Get this off me! It's catching me up! It's catching me up! Whilst all I had to do was park up and jump off. Yes, yes, yes! So sweet. <laughs> Aren't you a little bit jealous? I'm a little lot jealous, actually. <laughs> oh, it's a great challenge. Both, well, all three of those technologies looked amazing. Awesome. I love the Zero MX. Yeah. I'm right up for that electric motorbike. But I've got to say, the old zip fly oh. thingy, that was brilliant. Do you know, <laughs> I loved it so much, I think I went down it about 25 times. You went out there with your one-handed camera move. That was really quite cool. Thank Very you. slick. Multitasking. But, and do you know what? You turned this like a pro. Even yeah. in my little skint there, I can feel how hard it really is. Really difficult. So difficult. You've really got to lean into every turn you make. Yeah, yeah but, but you know, ultimately... Ultimately, there is only ever one winner. Unfortunately, you're the loser, my friend. Yeah, I know. Susie Perry Ooh. wins this week's challenge. And on that joyous note, I have to say, that is all we've got time for this week. But of course, we'll be back very soon. See you later.
She's no good with words, but I'm worse. But they started out a joke of a romantic, stuck to my tongue. Way down with words, too over dramatic. Tonight is a cat, get much worse. Worse, no one should ever feel like I'm too quiet. Ten inch Tyler! <laughs> you always fold just before you found out. Drink up its last call, last resort. But only the first mistake. I'm two portals and a heart down. And I don't wanna forget how your voice sounds. These words are all I have, so right then. So you need them just to get by. Oh, show me little bit of spark. You've been saving for his bad rest. <laughs>
because we're together. Weather-wise, it's such a lovely day. You just say the words and we'll beat those birds down to Acapulco Bay. It's perfect for a flying honeymoon, they say. Come fly with me, let's fly, let's fly away. Once I get you up there, where the air is rarefied, we'll just glide, starry-eyed. Once I get you up there, I'll be holding you so near that you will hear the angels cheer because we're together. Weather-wise, it's such a gassing day. You just say those words and we'll beat those birds down to Acapulco Bay. It's perfect for a flying honeymoon. They say, come fly with me, let's fly, let's fly. Pack up, let's fly away. Indestructibles, brought to you by G-Shock. I'm Tim. And I'm Gendel. And we've been in action sports for over 15 years. Our heroes have pulled off some amazing moments and we decided if they could do it, why can't we? Well, they had large amounts of time and money. The TV people weren't keen on giving us either of those things. We have convinced them to find us some awesome locations. But they're only giving us three days only two NAF props. I've got cardboard. And £1,000 to actually pull it off. Plus, we've got our mates, athletes talented enough to make it happen. We'll win some, we'll likely lose more. But until time runs out, nothing will stop us. Because we are the Indestructibles. Slipped. That's going to look ridiculous. Slip, slip all the pine cones. Hold it. What a place, huh? What a spot. Whew. What's that noise? What is that noise? Oh, it grates a bit. Hey, look, it's a zip line. Oh, yeah. Maybe we've got to use the zip line for this week's moment. I don't know, Timo. It looks a bit high to me. Oh, it gives me the shivers just looking at it. That's because you've continued to wander into the freezing cold lake. Oh, yeah. Oh, well. We still need a bit more inspiration, though, don't we? Yeah, we need the props. We need the props. Hmm, cardboard box. That's a little bit weird. Well, that's all about. All right, what's mine? Hit me! Oh. 
Jokes on them, because I was already wet anyway, so whatever. Yeah. On your legs, though. Research. Not on your body. Yeah, research. Yeah. Ooh, that looks high. Oh. Where's he off to? Look at that! Massive! <laughs> this would be a great place to skip a rock. Oh, what's he doing? Skipping a rock. Oh! Frozen! No way! Sounded like a laser. Oh, the old bouncing bomb, you see? That gives me an idea. I've got this. I've totally got it. I've, 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 I, can, I can see it. So we headed to the workshop, domain of our pint-sized geek, Ollie. This could actually work. What's the worst that could happen? And Joe, our builder, who's been in action sports for 20 years. From drift trikes to snowboarding, Joe's done it. All right, what you're trying to do is recreate the Dam Busters, yeah? Dam ah, Busters. Ah, yes. I knew they'd done something like that, that before, it. yeah. So what you want to do is this. Well, the dam busters bounced the bomb off the water to hit a dam. Did they? I, did, I never watched it. I don't watch black and white films. Well, well, they did. And they had a plane, which we don't. Yeah, but we know that that's why we can send it off the zip line. Yeah, exactly. If the zip line's the plane, what's the bomb then? Anything bomb-sized. It doesn't matter, really. Yeah. Well, yeah, you realise that someone have to manually release it from the line. You can't afford anything fancy to separate it from the line remotely. Whatever we release from the wire, someone will have to be on it or in it to release it. Yes, someone in a Zorb. Think about it, we've got manual control and built-in protection. A man in a Zorb. Yeah, yeah, perfect. That is ridiculous. If a Zorb comes off the zip line at the wrong point, it'd be like being hit by a bomb for the person inside. Yeah, but can't you rig the Zorb so it only comes off at the right time so it's safe? It may surprise you, but there's no such thing as a Zorb zipline detachment device. It'd be a total bodge. OK, look, you guys figure out the release and then we've still got to work out what we're aiming at when they come off the line. Whoa, hang on. Whoa, whoa, wait, wait, wait. The boxes! It's one of the props, isn't it? Maybe that's what they're for, the target! But first we need to see how balls bounce on water, how quickly they need to be moving and what effect they have on a real target. Any brave volunteers? So all I'm going to do, I'll simply ping some balls at you, and then... No, 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 no. No, this is your idea. You go over there and catch them, I'll ping them at you. Go on. Whoa! Ready? So safety gear on, let the experiment begin. Oh, <laughs> off his head! Firstly, balls clearly bounce off water. Secondly, we'll need protection. And thirdly, <laughs> speed is king. <laughs> That's it, man. Uh, That's enough now. Ooh. I've had enough. So what have we learnt, then? Well, balls clearly bounce on water. Would you be brave enough to be inside one and drop off a zip line, though? That's no. the question. Well, no. Why don't you let us figure out how we can make it work and you guys go and find someone that's ballsy enough to do it? <laughs> ballsy. Yeah. Like it. I like that, too. Come on, then. Ballsy. You're a funny guy, man. I forget that sometimes. We can do it, can't we? Back at the zip line, we needed to find an athlete. Not an easy one, this, Gendo. Because mm. you need someone that's good in the air. You need someone who can hit a small target. And you need someone that's got big... Well, yeah, exactly. Oh, do you know what? Go I, on. I've got it. I've got it. It's easy. Connery. Mm. Well, not only is he out of our budget, I think he's a little bit past it. Bear with me. Oh, Gary Connery. <gasps> oh! Hey, don't worry, Timo. He's one of the best stuntmen in the business. Really? He actually stepped in as the Queen at London 2012 for that infamous jump. Remember that? Ah, oh, I saw that, yeah, it's yeah. that guy. He's done hundreds of death-defying stunts and, it, you know... He's on fire! I oh, know. It's incredible. You know, if it involves heights and risk, he's probably done it. He could be the man. It's perfect, Endo. Yeah, I like it. OK, you go see what Ollie's doing. I'll give him a call. All right. Get me Connery. No, Gary. Gary Connery. Let me update you on where we're at. The first part of the zip line is over rocks and stuff, so you have to work out how to keep people secure over that bit, but allow them to release themselves over the water. But there's a much bigger problem. Not him, the ball. It weighs way more than anyone first thought, and we're not even sure if the zip line can take the weight of that combined with a person. 
We're not even sure if it actually bounces. Come to think of it, how do you even attach one of those to a zip line anyway? It's not as if it's got holes in the right place and you can click it into position. As you can see, there's still quite a lot for us to do. I'm sure we'll be fine, though. We were doing better. We think we'd found someone crazy enough to go in the Zorb. Right, Gary, let's have a little chat about you. It's every kid's dream to be a stuntman. You've done loads of stuff. You're jumping out of a helicopter in a wingsuit and flying into some cardboard boxes without pulling your parachute is pretty crazy for anyone. How fast did you hit those boxes? Just under 70 miles an hour. And when you saw them coming, what point did you go, I've got this right? Yeah, because I bet they look like a postage stamp from the helicopter, uh, they didn't, didn't they? didn't even look like that. They look like a hair on the lens. <laughs> um, <laughs> you'll see that I'm sort of shaking around quite a lot. And then all of a sudden, you'll see that it just becomes a smooth flight. It was at that point, and I was physically laughing inside the helmet, because I knew the boxes were going to work. Let's just show him. OK. Right, we've got an extension cable. That is your zip wire. That is little Gary. You get little Gary, and you put little Gary in a Zorb ball. Zip wire, zip wire, zip wire. <laughs> What's going to happen? Bottom line, are you in? It's not a no. OK, so it's not a no yet. We need to go see it, and then you'll decide. I need to know what we're dealing with before I can say yes or no. All right, we'll see you at the zip line. Don't want to jinx this, but I think we might have solved it. Joe's found this thing. It's called a Megatron. It's what kite surfers use to release themselves from their gear if they get in any kind of difficulty. I'll show you how it works. Joe, come here. Here, hold that. This bit. That's it. Go on, pull. See, it takes a lot of weight, but then... It releases. Brilliantly. This might actually work. Coming up, we've got a world-famous stuntman on board. A release mechanism that ensures he won't fall to his death. Now we just need to rig up the Zorb and bombs away. The Indestructibles, brought to you by G-Shock. The Indestructibles, brought to you by G-Shock. Our mission is simple. With an epic location, plan and hopefully pull off an epic moment. But we only have three days, two props for inspiration and just £1,000 to make it happen. The plan this time is to bounce a man in a Zorb across a lake, a la Dam Busters. We've managed to convince one of the world's best stuntmen to be in the Zorb, we think we have a way of releasing the Zorb from the wire without killing anybody, although we haven't tried it yet. But on paper, this should work. Ah, oh, so this is it then? Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. And then you're going to get to do it? I'll do it. See? He'll do it. Mm. I'll do it if it's safe. All oh, right, yeah, this is Sam Hardy, a skydiver and a wingsuit flyer who we've roped in to be our advisor. Considering there is a real risk of killing someone if we get this wrong, Sam's advice will be invaluable. Seeing as he spends his spare time jumping off things and not dying, safety first. Safety's our middle name. Safety doesn't take a day off. I was born in Safetyshire. Yeah, he... What? Don't know, let's go check it out, yeah? Come and look at this. Behold! Oh, yes. That's going to work, isn't it? Yeah, it's high as well. And then it's all about you guys kind of working out where to release somewhere down yeah, there. Yeah, not too early. As they say, the proof of the pudding is in the eating, so I think we should start eating. What I mean by that is we should have a go on it. Come on. I right. meant we were going to have some pudding first, and then... We're not having... The next job was convincing Gary and Sam they wouldn't plummet to their deaths. We asked Tim and Gendel to help, but they said they were busy. Yeah, we've got to figure out how we're going to release you from the line, and I have this. It's taken from kiteboarding, so the guys have it on their belts like this, and then if they get taken off or whatever, they can pull it 
what I would like to be able to do is control the direction I'm traveling. Yeah. Right. If we're suspended from one point, it will rotate us. Okay. What I've got here, it's called a three ring circus. Right. And it's, it was essentially designed for skydiving rigs. So what we're gonna try and do is transfer to our arms, decide where we wanna go, stabilize ourselves, and then land in the water. So there we are, I'm traveling now down the zip line. When I'm happy, I release that, but I'm still hanging. When I'm ready, I let go. I land in the water. And you can go. Right here, right now, what we're going to do is put me inside this, tie me up, roll me around, imagine that I've just come off the zip line and see how this settles. Let's get in. Come on, I want to see this now. All right, dropping Gary. It stopped quite hard. Think about how fast he was travelling then and how oh, quickly mean, it impacted and stopped. So if you're doing that a lot faster... There's a lot of impact there. Oh, yeah. So you're going down there, you're going to be going much faster. How would that feel? Multiply that by ten. Only one way to find out. Yeah. That's the spirit. That's it. And I think with the testing that's gone on, everyone's feeling pretty happy. Bring Let's jump on. off the cliff first. Yeah, come on. <laughs> Before we get into the final preparation, it was time to let off some steam. Introducing the Indestructibles Cliff Diving Championship. We're about to watch world-renowned international snowboard commentator Tim Warwood. Coming up next, experienced cliff jumper Joe Rackley. Let's see what he's got. That was horrendous. Next is Adam Gendel. <laughs> Joe, being the six foot two man child that he is, wouldn't be outdone though. And it may not look like it, but Joe is actually trained to do this. <laughs> the entry of the jump was poor. The judges will not look at that favourably. How are we all feeling? Personally, I feel good. The guy that runs this says that people get up to sort of 35 miles an hour. If you enter right, it's good. If you've got a lack of experience and a lack of general body awareness and you get it wrong, it's going to hurt. The next thing is we need to do a release test. I'll go. Let's do it. All okay. right, buckle up then. Get ready. Let's have some fun. This is it. First release from the zip line. Tension is high. Look, looks fast when you're down here. Yeah. Zip line. That's good. That's good. One, you give it a ten second warning before you jump off. Yeah. That's good. That's good. Right, that means. How are we looking up there, guys? Stand by. First release. Bouncing bomb. Three, two, one. Action stop. <laughs> That must be 25, 30 feet he went from, I would imagine. That was big. That was high, man. Well, I've got to give it a bit of a shove, haven't I? I'll tell you what, that was brilliant. Next up, action sport pro slash human bomb, Joe. And Joe being Joe, he had a strange request for his jump. Uh, Joe wants to use the uh, bouncy castle as his target. And he, he's saying if he's only going to do it once, let's go big or go home. So can we, can we try and do the bouncy castle now, or is it a non-starter? With a crew of 25 people using one of Europe's very best wingsuit flyers and one of Steven Spielberg's go-to stuntmen, you'd think they'd get somebody else other than me to get the goddamn inflatables in position. Christ! It's because you want to land in a pink bouncy castle. I think it's safer yeah. than hitting the water. Yeah, it's not, it's not enough for Joe to just enter the water because, well, look at him, he's a meathead, so he wants more of a challenge. He wants to hit the child's pink bouncy castle. 
don't mess up, it's all right? <laughs> That's my advice for you, in the most PC way. In that castle, you own it. I'm, I'm not even getting wet. Joe Rackley's about to go down, and he will go down hard. Here he comes. Yeah, I'm ready. So good. I thought it was going to stay dry. <laughs> <laughs> I was stoked that Tim was about five foot away to high five me immediately. That was the, that was the best thing. <laughs> And Sam had wisely given us the manual labour jobs to do. The boxes will be the target, while they rig up and ensure there will be no death-related paperwork to fill in after the stunt. To the beach, our boxes complete with um, Lilo underbelly is ready for Gary, and it is going into the water right now. Come on! Don't help. No, don't be stupid. Um, we let the kind of slightly more dense people do all that kind of stuff. All right, mate. Yeah. Oh, I so, love doing the boxes. Do you? <laughs> time for the final preparations. It's time to unleash the human bouncing bomb. Gary's about to go down in the Zorb, but we were just having some biscuits. We better hurry up. This is the big one. 30 second countdown. Gary Connery, first man to drop in a Zorb from a zip line. Gary, release in three, two, one. Action, Gary. Gary. Yes, Gary! He's a pro. How was it? That was a thing of beauty. Did we get a bounce? You, you got a little bounce just before you hit the boxes. <laughs> I don't know how many more you would have got. So we nailed it. Good work, Gary. <laughs> That's it. That's the vision. Come to life. We've uh, we released us all from the zip line, and it bounced. A bouncing bomb. Perfect. How did it feel? Come on. That was good. Yeah? yeah you and you I lost sight of the boxes because the ball rotated. Yeah. Fortunately it rotated back round. Timing wise I thought was good. Really good. Uh, perfect. And it worked. It actually worked. Perfect. Gary, mission accomplished, man. How'd you feel? Great. I've uh, I've come here not really knowing what to expect. You said, Gary, do you think we can do this? So I, you know. Got some brains together, it worked out. We did well. Gadge, put it there. Good work, man. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Mission thanks accomplished. For, thanks for making this happen. Thank you, Sam, as well. Good job. My pleasure. Joe, yeah. how are you feeling? Yeah, Bouncy Castle got destroyed. <laughs> Best day of my life. <laughs> <laughs> Mission accomplished. Absorb off the zip line. What more could you want? Well, we could send Ollie into orbit, I suppose, couldn't we? That would be good, let's see that. Yeah. Are you ready? Three, two, two one. one.
Indestructibles, brought to you by G-Shock.
Christian by anything till you turn around and say that every year is like a day and you have given it away, you give it all away, you give it and now everything at once becomes the only thing that you want, you're a diffident man and your plans will not be executed and the life that you believed you'd lead is starting to recede and you have given it away, you give it all away, you give it away. prepared you for that. <laughs> oh, that's good. <laughs> that's amazing. <laughs> how'd, you, how'd you feel? <laughs> oh, oh, like I've just been flying. That is awesome. That is awesome. <laughs> Brilliant. Can I go again? <laughs> yeah, you can. Oh, man. I'll unclip you now. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>
Where's mommy? Oh, what's that? Where's mommy? Hello, sweetheart. Okay. Oh. That's it. There we go, okay? Oh, where's daddy? I don't think I've seen it from the swing, but you're going to keep up there, right? Pardon? You're feeling horrible, Christian. No, you didn't. You don't mean mummy, mate. No, not yet. Yeah, you want to? Yeah, you want to? Yeah, you want to?